So the word of the year, according to Merriam-Webster, is authentic. Authentic means original, genuine, real. A great word. And it's a word that I talk about a lot when it comes to copywriting. So let's do a video on it. Let's talk about what makes for authentic copy and why should you even care about having authentic copy. And to like get totally authentic, no makeup, just me and my hot flashes. Hey everyone, I'm Robin the Copy Bitch. This is Stewie, my sidekick slop. I've been a freelance copywriter since 2002. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We're gonna be talking about authenticity in copywriting. What it is, why it even matters, how you can become more authentic with your copy and your words. Whether you're a copywriter or you're writing a letter or you're putting together a cover letter or you're sending an email to someone like someone you're trying to woo, Authenticity is important, so let's talk about it. It's not at all a surprise to me that authentic is the word of the year, because consider what happened at the beginning of the year. ChatGPT came bursting onto the scene. Artificial intelligence, the complete opposite of authentic and genuine. And we're gonna talk about this in a second. Now, to be clear, ChatGPT isn't the first AI that we've all encountered. We actually use AI regularly every single day. If you have an Alexa in your house, that's artificial intelligence. If you use a software package like Grammarly to correct your prose, that's artificial intelligence. We encounter that every single day. But ChatGPT was a little bit different. It's a large language model and I think we were all wowed by how fast it was and how fast it could just spit out prose. Prose that wasn't bad, but it wasn't special either, primarily because it wasn't authentic. I think as society, especially now with social media and you know we're seeing deep fake videos and things like that, we crave something that's real. It's so fun. We're such a weird species when you think about it. Like we have reality TV with the word real in it, even though we know those are scripted shows. And we have social media where we're looking at images where we know like the person probably had to take 10, 12, 15 takes to make their family pose just perfectly and everyone's smiling. I use Canva and I can upload a picture and it can remove the background with just like the click of a button. And it's great when I'm trying to create a YouTube thumbnail, but it's not really authentic, is it? So that's one of the reasons why I chose to do this particular video without any makeup on. It's like, this is the real me, the unvarnished version. Now I do have a ring light on just so that you can see me better, but this is me. <laughs> and for, for better or worse, with a zit at the age of 50, you know, like this is, this is I think something that we create. I think this extends to the way brands and companies talk to their customers and their prospects. And I think that's why authenticity is so important to copywriting. And I think that's why you're limited if you are just relying on AI to produce your copy. AI is great, but I'm talking about the large language models, the models that have been trained on tons of text that already exists. And then it mimics it and it tries to mimic the tone and it tries to anticipate what the next words should be and it does a decent job a decent job where it's perfectly adequate as i say like you read the text and you're like huh that's perfectly adequate it's punctuated well it makes sense it's coherent and yet that's the problem it's the and yet it's not special it's not original it's artificial and it's not AI's fault, like that's what it was built to do. But until AI, and I don't know if it's ever gonna do this and it'll be a little bit scary if it does, until AI can produce original content, meaning like it just comes up with the content on its own, like it knows you need five blog posts and it says, no problem Robin, I think we should write about these topics and here are the keywords and I just wrote them for you. Like until it's doing that, I think AI is only going to be your sous chef when it comes to writing. Like, and it can help with some of the chopping and the dicing. It can do some, you know, blog outlining. It can help you, you know, write shorter pieces. It can review what you've written and point out some flaws or challenge you on areas. That's great. And AI can be a great support for that. But when it comes to writing rich, authentic content, it can't do it. And the thing is, 
that's the type of content, that's precisely the type of content if you're a copywriter you should be producing for your clients because that's what we all crave. Whether we know it or not, that's what we crave to the point that we're actually Googling the word authentic and it's become the word of the year. Look for the original stories from your clients. And here's the thing, your client isn't gonna be like, yeah, I got some original stories for you. You have to prod, you have to probe, you have to ask the right questions. So you just have to get in the habit of doing that. That might mean getting on a phone call with them or sending them an occasional email or sending them a piece of copy and be like, I really need a, a client perspective or customer story or anecdote that can help illustrate this point. And that might help get their juices going and be like, oh yeah, well I can talk about that. So here's an example of great authentic copy. It's for a company called Polywork, which helps you turn your LinkedIn profile into a web page, like a personal website. I have not used the product, but it sounds interesting. Anyhow, this article is called A Guide to the Financial Planning Process for Side Hustlers Turned Founders. And it's written by a favorite writer of mine, Kat Bugard, my apologies if I'm pronouncing her last name incorrectly, but Kat is a freelance copywriter that I follow and she just <laughs> really writes wonderful, authentic copy. And here's a great example of it. So this is her client and she's writing this blog post for them, but notice the authenticity in this opening paragraph. When I made my freelance writing side hustle my full-time career, it took me precisely two months to panic and submit an application for a part-time job at Petco. Why? Money, moolah, cold hard cash. I was barely scraping by. Anyone who freelances or who has side hustle can probably identify with this. It is extremely personal. It's extremely authentic and real. It's original. So this is a great example of authentic copy when you can infuse personal stories, whether it's yours or your clients. That's the sort of stuff that elevates copy and brings it to life. So there's a great example. Listen up if you're involved with sales calls or marketing calls with the marketing team. Oftentimes you will hear things from the client that they don't even realize is like a nugget that you can pull into a piece of content. Set up Google alerts about the client's industry that you are writing for because there will be stories about whatever it is. Like I work for a urology clinic, I do copywriting for a urology clinic, so I've had Google alerts set up for terms like prostate cancer. I remember when the United States task force came out with its recommendations for prostate cancer screening a few years ago and the urology practice that I work for had a very, very specific opinion about what the US task force did. They disagreed with it and that was great. That was an original, authentic spin and helpful content to put out there that you won't find anywhere else. And again, AI can't generate that, not on its own anyway. It's not just gonna be able to come up with that. Pay attention to content that makes you sit up and take notice. Right now, as I record this video in 2023, there is an Amazon Prime commercial that has the Beatles song in my life playing in the background, just instrumental. And it's these three older women who are watching, who are, they're sitting at the base of a, of a mountain, watching people sled, watching kids sled. You might've seen this commercial. I'll see if I can do a scroll as I'm talking about it. And this, this commercial is just so, it's so, it's like, <laughs> it made me cry the first time I saw it. It, it was, it's so powerful. I always stop whenever, I watch it, you know, whenever it comes on to watch it. And I know other people have too, because around on Thanksgiving, you know, the, it was on during one of the football games and we were all commenting on it because a lot of people had seen it. A lot of people were talking about this commercial. So it just, it really was quite, I mean, granted, it's a commercial, they're actors, but the way it was portrayed was very authentic and real. It was like a human emotion that we could all, you know, identify with. So that's the sort of stuff you want to pay attention to. And then like dig deeper, ask yourself, okay, what was it about that commercial that really spoke to me? What was it? Was it the storytelling? Was it the music? Was it just the nostalgia aspect? Like what was it? Think of those things. Always dig deeper as a writer when you come across a piece of copy that works really well, because that's going to be telling you how to, that will inform you and how you can approach your writing. What do you think? How do you write authentic prose when you approach your copy or your email or your letter, whatever it is that you're writing? I'd love to hear your approach. Share in the comments below. 
I am Robin the Copy Bitch. This is Stewie, my sidekick sloth. We put out a video every week. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Bye!